Hey guys, Richard here with the Geeks of Retro, and today I'm going to show you guys how to do a motion overlay or and or background right here in Adobe Premiere Pro. So stay tuned and we'll be right back. Alright, so first thing we're going to do is go up here to File, go down to Import, and then once we get over here, we're going to double click on our video. This is going to be my initial video that I want to add the overlay to. And then we're going to import the overlay. As you see, i got a lot of stuff on my computer. Alright, so now I've got those set up. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to click, left click on this, and then drag it over. This is going to bring the video over. Now, if you want to be able to see your video a little bit more, you can actually go right here to this little bar. And actually, for the audio, if this way, this see how it just moves it up and down? Okay, so you go right above it, and you bring it up, and this allows you to see the actual video. You can do the same with the audio. You would click and drag down. Now, this is going to let you see your sound bars. Okay? Now that I've done this, now I'm going to bring over my graphics overlay, or my motion overlay. Okay, you're going to want to put that in video slot too. It makes life a lot simpler if you do it that way. Now as you can see, I have an extra here. I don't need my audio. So the first thing I'm going to do here is, let's go here, right click, and we hit unlink. And now this one is free from this one. The bottom one I don't need, so I'm going to delete that one. Okay, so here, I'm going to leave this be because I need it for uh, future reference. but up here what I'm going to as you can see my image is still black so what I'm doing here is I'm going to find out where the motion where the overlay the cherry blossom leaves actually start and I'm gonna left click and then drag over to that point I'm cutting off that first portion click and drag that's one way you can do it for small little sections where I don't need all this this here at the end I'm gonna go right over here to my little sidebar and hit the razor tool and I'm gonna find that edge and I'm gonna click that now I see it separated the two now don't forget to go back up here and click on your arrow now you click on the one you don't need and hit delete and there it is it's gone you ain't got to worry about it no more now that we've done all this as you can see my box for my motion overlay is still black and it's small so first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna click on motion or you click on your yeah your motion overlay sorry about that <laughs> go up here to motion now if you look it has your little guide points so you can expand the video this is one of the easier ways to do it if you know exactly how big you're going to be uh, you click on that and you just drag okay that's all I need now if you want to get fancier with it you can actually go right here next to the word motion uh, in your effects control panel here Hit your little arrow next to it, and it'll drop down and give you a whole bunch of extra stuff. You can The scale is what I just did. I just scaled this out. You can also set positioning. So say you want this here over here, you can actually design it so that the positioning is a little bit more, whatever you want to do. This gives you a lot more control and definability. I don't need all that. I knew exactly what I was aiming for. So now that we've gotten that bigger, now as you can see, even though it's in video slot 2, it's still dominant it overlays my original video so go down here to your smaller box where you, your video sit and you go right here to effects and then as you can see I've already typed it but you type in the word blend and blend will come up once you get done with that you take and click left click on that and drag it over to your motion graphic now if you look here it that blend is actually applied to the whole thing but up here in the top in your effects control uh, box you're gonna have blend with layer mode blend with original so on and so forth these are your new features that you, you have which you can get fancy with it whatever you want to do I don't need it fancy so first thing you do is you're gonna click on blend with layer right here in this little box this is none you're gonna go blend with video one and then blend with original we're gonna put, I'll show you how to do that here in a second but right here right where it says crossfade we're gonna go down to lighten only now on here, with blend with original, you just hit zero. That's it. Boom, it's gone. All the black is gone. That is what I love about it. And yes, if you're wondering, I have kittens, and that's what all the jingling is. Um, <laughs> so, as you can see now, the 
wonderful cherry blossoms are now overlaid onto my screen and it has a beautiful effect. You cannot tell that they weren't supposed to be there. All right, so now that we're done with that, we're gonna go with it. I'm happy with that, that's all I needed. So I go right up here to file and you go to export media. This is once you're done with the video, this is how you export it out. This is how you get the video to a, a final version of it that you can share on YouTube and so forth. Your format for YouTube, the best one is 8.264. There are a hundred tons of other ones, but the H.264 is what they recommend. After that, you just hit export here, and then it will start exporting. And then once that video is done, you can upload it onto YouTube. Now, as far as the blend feature or the motion graphic feature, I will put a link down in my description below. So that way it'll link you to my other YouTube uh, video where you will be able to get that blend option and be able to use it in your videos. It is a free download. You can get download it free with, uh, I use Real Player for my video downloads like that. Um, but you can use that on there and you're perfectly fine. It is copyright free, you won't have any issues. Um, if you have any other questions or comments or concerns, throw them down in the comments below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification icon so that way you get notified every time we release some new videos. So again, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and y'all have a great day.